Hey everyone, and welcome to the Ensu Studio. I'm Jens Ensu, and today I'm going to take you through another episode of Design Process. Today I will work with a design process that has been floating around my head for years and years and years. It's actually my most important tool that we are about to engage into the design process of the pen. By now, <laughs> I've received so many comments in, uh, in videos and on Instagram. Every time I make a design, I work with this, the Pilot BP Matic, which is my favorite pen. It's a $3 pen. And everybody says, Jens, you need to step up your pen game. <laughs> and they are not wrong. And I do have nice pens. This uh, was an anniversary gift from my wife, a cross pen. I love it. This was from the, the first Kickstarter campaign that I ever backed uh, from one of my friends in San Francisco. This uber awesome custom pen by Hidetoshi. If you're into the EDC community, you probably know these pens. They're so nice. I love my Cavego pens. All these, I just, I love them. The uh, Rotring mechanical pencil. Ever since I was in design school, I've been loving the Caran Dash fixed pencil. All these inspire me. At the same time, I had this urge to re revolutionize the entire pen community by making the Enzo pen. And that has been holding me back for God knows how many years I've been doing sketches and ideas and I've had various sketches hanging in my shop just reminding me to come up with this brilliant, brilliant idea of, of some kind of, of pen mechanism that hasn't been seen before at all. And uh, let me just tell you, that's not a great start for a a design project. At the same time, I, I wanted to get get something done. I've made pens in the past, full custom pens one at a time. One of my friends is an orthopedic surgeon and I made a pen for him out of a titanium hip bone, uh, which individually speaking, that's pretty cool and fun and interesting, but not ideal if you want to make more than one. The process so far for the pen has been come up with new ideas, sketch, 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 try to come up with something brand new. And at some point, a while back, I decided to myself, stop all that, make a pen. Now, once you've made one pen, then you can start to innovate, try to make something cool, but make one pen and make it beautiful, make it comfortable, make it nice to use and actually taking that decision made everything so much easier for me. And the pen itself, while it might seem simple, there's a body, there's a spring, there's an ink cartridge, there's a mechanism, and there's a clip. All in all, it's not a complicated product, but once you have to think it into my production and my way of making, then it can be a, become a little problematic. Making the decision that I don't have to reinvent the wheel made it so much better process for me. So right now I have an overall idea what I want to make. And I actually wanted to show you one-on-one -on -one the design process of the future and so pen project number one. I've been sketching for a while on various ideas. And what I actually wanted to do was start out with the clip. The clip on pens are so defining. I definitely wanted to have a clip on it because a pen that doesn't have a clip like this mechanical pencil will, it will just roll off the table. On many, many pens, the clip is a piece of bent steel or bent titanium that just wouldn't cut it for, for me. So while I don't try and, and reinvent anything, I like to put a lot of detail into this new project. Starting out with the design for this project after 
I decided not to be innovative was to document a bunch of different pens, measure length, measure thickness, just try different pens and see what would work incredibly well for me. By no big chance, I return to the pilot pen. This works so well in my hand. Combine that with the weight of the rotoring here and all the measurements that I did, I came up with should be hexagon out of uh, coolness and choices around surface treatment. I have decided to go with brass, a hexagonal, 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 a hex shaped piece of brass. <laughs> oh, and by the way, it's late spring in Denmark. My studio is a million degrees and I'm not wearing any pants. So that's an image for you. After figuring out the hex shaped piece of brass, I'm actually centering the design around the clip. Might seem, count seem counterintuitive that the clip is defining so much of the rest, but I've never designed a pen before, so why not make it backwards? So inspired by uh, my frustration with the common clips on pens that it, it just, this, it's lacking something. I actually found my inspiration to make something cool. This commercially, commercial pen here, a plastic cheap pen, but with a somewhat interesting mechanism, actually inspired me to make a spring-loaded clip. So let's start a design process, starting out with the clip and the hex shape, and then see where that leads us. Please support this channel by visiting my website at emsoofdenmark.com. There's a link below. On my website, you can find products like the legendary Enso ship's foot. Right now, I'm working on the overall shape of the, the clip, thinking a lot of steps ahead, I'm thinking, how do, does it attach to the pen body? How will I be able to machine this? How will it function? How will it look? There's a lot of things in here. And I started out sketching a little large, narrowing it down a little bit. And I feel like I'm getting close to a design language that I think will suit this project well. I'm also thinking, what kind of mechanism should this have um, in order to be something that I can make? And a re regular click pin is what I've come up with. And I'm still a bit undecided exactly how it should be made, but there is available mechanisms that you can buy and integrate in your own pen uh, designs. And I've come to the conclusion that, especially for this first pen project. I want to incorporate a Smith clicky mechanism. Exactly what will be the end result? I'm not decided yet, but it's a good start to have the mechanism at least fixed to a certain point. So I will start out with this as a mechanism and maybe that will change down the line, but at least then I have a, a fixed point in the design work that, that is this mechanism here. I've made some decisions on the design. I want the hex body. I want the clip somewhat resembling this actually. I only just now saw that this actually has the function that I was after lifting the clip. I really, really love this. I think I will make it a little different. I want to make it a hinged clip with some kind of spring mechanism, but I, I really like, I find this super elegant that you lift it to insert it into your pocket or in your bag. I really like that. Right now it's a little long. I will fix that in post. I want a pencil-like, very long, narrow tip. And I want some knurling. I haven't really figured out the knurling yet, but I want an area somewhat like this, 
on the brass that will be milled down, milled, milled some kind of knurling into it. So I think I will leave that part open for now, but at least define how much area that is needed with knurling. And I think, I think this is pretty good. So again, drawing inspiration. I'm taking things from here and there and combining it and taking my personal preferences and making an Anso pen. Everything else is not an Anso pen. This is probably the closest thing to an Anso pen and it was designed in Japan probably 50 years ago. And as opposed to a lot of designers who work only with design, I work with manufacturing and making as well. So when I design, I'm three steps ahead all the, uh, always. There's no use in designing something, sending it out for production if it's not possible. And this will be made right here. And I know our capabilities. I know our machines. I know what we can and can't do, at least to a certain point. We are not using our machines to its full capacity. Maybe this requires that we buy a new setup for the inside of the CNC. We don't have a turning center either. This will be a milled project. It might not be a totally free form design project because I'm limiting myself to what can we make here. But uh, I think that's a really good way of designing as well. So right now I'm, I'm adding some kind of knurling to the grip area here. I don't want it to be slippery. This, while it's a super beautiful pen, I found it, even though it's knurled to some extent on the entire body, it's a little slippery. And I find myself not using it all that much other than signing really important contracts. Then they get signed with this. The shape, along with the very soft knurling, makes it a little slippery. I want this pen to substitute this pen. So you stop telling me to up my pen game. No, please do. So I actually feel that we are very close to a final design here. Maybe once we start making prototypes, things will change a little bit. But for now, I'm actually really, really happy with where we are with this. Stay tuned for the Enso pen project. My plan is to produce it this year. The next step now is take this into CAD, just tighten everything up. I don't want to bore you with that today because this is so close to the final design that I want it to be at this point. Sometimes I go back to some early sketches. Sometimes I feel that the very early sketches actually captures the essence of the idea better than the design drawing that I end up having. And then if I actually see that in a design that I'm working on, if I see that the first initial sketch where I captured the idea makes a better representation of the idea, then I will go back, rework the drawings again and again and again until I feel the idea is captured fully. In this case, I can see that I'm not 100% there, but I think this is as far as I can come in a hand-drawn sketch. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode of, uh, of designing. And um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, comment. I'd love to read all your comments and I will answer all of them in good time or in bad time, who knows. I will take the time to answer everybody. So please leave a comment. And uh, that's all for today. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed this episode, please visit my website at answerofdenmark.com. Help support this channel and keep the light on. 
on my website you can find cool products like the Enso sheep's foot.